Right, today we're going to talk about rates and unit rates. So uh, when we were doing our ratios, I said with a ratio we always had to compare two things that were the same units or the same type of thing had to be compared together. With a rate, that's a comparison between two things that are measured in different units. Okay, so it doesn't matter if it's the same type of thing, we can compare those using a rate. So you actually see lots of rates probably all the time. So for example, we could see a rate that says uh, milk costs about $5.39 for four liters. So to write that as a rate, I would say $5.39, $5.39, and then I use this little slash and I would write four liters. And when I say that slash out loud, uh, I read it as the word per. So the way I would say this is it's $5.39 per four liters, okay? If I had another one here, I could say that I ran 26 kilometers in five hours. That's a lie, I'd probably die. But if I ran 26 kilometers in five hours, my rate would be 26 kilometers per five hours. That is a rate. I'm comparing a distance and a time. They're two different things compared together. We could look at something like Amy earned $30 for four hours of babysitting. So that would be $30 per four hours, okay? And that's how we say a rate out loud. Now a unit rate is a rate in which the second term, or if we're writing it as a fraction, the denominator, is one. Okay, so a unit rate is a rate comparing two different things where the second term is one. So it's per one of something. So we see these all the time. When you're driving down the street, you might see a sign that says the speed limit is 50 kilometers per hour. And that means it's 50 kilometers in one hour. So if you were to drive at that speed for one hour, you would have traveled 50 kilometers. We say something like you might earn $7.50 per one hour of babysitting. So if you babysit for one hour, you get $7.50. If you did two hours, then you would get another $7.50, and your total would be $15, okay? So if I go back to that rate we had on the last slide, I said milk was $5.39 per four liters. And when I write that per out, I might wanna write it like this, where I have it as a fraction. And so I've got my four liters in the denominator of that fraction. And what I wanna do is I wanna take my rate, where I'm comparing my two different things together, and I wanna turn it into a unit rate. And when I turn something into a unit rate, it means per one, liter. Okay, so my units stay the same, but I want it as per one of something. So my denominator or my bottom number needs to be a one. Okay, so what I'm going to do here then is look for the missing value up top. Now there's a couple different ways of doing this. Okay, if you would like, you can use that uh, method that we talked about where you could take the five dollars and thirty-nine cents. We could multiply by the one that is across from it, and then divide by the four, okay? So that's using your uh, cross product in order to solve for your missing value. You may also notice that in order to turn four into a one, I simply divide by four. So in, I, because these two fractions must be equal or proportional to one another, I need to also divide the top by four. So I do the same thing to the top as I do to the bottom. Now this answer comes out as 1.347 blah 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 blah. There's more stuff after that. Whenever we're talking about money, please round to the nearest penny. So that would be a dollar and 34.7 cents would round up to 35 cents. Okay, so that rate we had on the first page, $5.39 for four liters of milk, our unit rate would then be $1.35 per one liter of milk. Okay, so let's find the unit rate of a couple of these things. So if I had $30 for six hours of work, if you want to pause it and you want to find this on your own, by all means. So I would start off by writing my rate. My rate is $30 per six hours of work. 
to change it to a unit rate, I want it per one hour of work. So to go from six down to one, I simply divide by six. That one's nice and easy. And if I take 30 and divide by six, I get five dollars per hour, okay? Hopefully your first job pays you more than five dollars per hour. Next one, I have 360 kilometers in four hours. So as a rate, that is 360 kilometers per four hours. If I want to change that into a unit rate, it needs to be per one hour. How do I change four into one? I simply divide by four, and I do the same thing in my numerator, divide by four to get 90 kilometers per hour. Now again, if you wanted to, if you don't see that you can divide by four, simply take the two numbers that are across from one another, 360 and one are across from one another, divide by the number that's left over. So the number left over at the start was four. You will still get 90, and that's where your answer goes in back up here, okay? Now, <clears throat> we can use uh, unit rates to solve a problem like this, but we can also use our proportions. So if I was to look at something where it says a plane travels 642 kilometers in two hours, how far can it travel in five hours? Okay, so pause the video, give yourself a chance to try this one on your own. Okay, I'm gonna start off by putting in my rate, and I could say the plane is traveling 642 kilometers in two hours. And I could change that into my unit rate. And I could say, well, if it goes 642 kilometers every two hours, that would mean that every hour I'm traveling, divide by two, top and bottom, or you can use your cross product. That gives me 321 kilometers every hour. And if I know that it's going 321 kilometers every hour, now I want to know how far does it go in five hours. Well, to go from one to five, I multiply by five, and I'm gonna do the same thing in the numerator, multiply by five, and that's gonna give me 1,605 kilometers. So a plane can travel quite far in that five hour span. Okay, now there is another way of solving that. I can take my same rate, which was 642 kilometers in two hours, and figure out using a proportion, which means equal fractions, I can find out what the missing value is for five hours. Now, this one might not be as clear as it was before how we go from two and turn it into a five. So this is where using that cross product idea is very helpful. If we take 642 and we multiply it by five, the two numbers that are across from one another, and then we're going to divide by the two afterwards. Okay, and when we do that, if you type that into your calculator to double check, you'll still get 1,605 kilometers. Okay, and so we put that number back in, and we know that we're going 1,605 kilometers in five hours. So two ways to solve it. You can turn it into a unit rate, and then figure out how far you go in that specific amount of time but we can also use what we call proportional reasoning, where we set up two equal fractions. All right.